After arriving in Paraguay, we headed to the Chaco region, where we learned about the history of the Mennonites that pioneered in this location over a hundred years ago, despite its difficult land conditions. Yet with strong faith and determination, they created beautiful communities and successful businesses. And we could see the fruits of what they have accomplished as we walked around one of the Mennonite towns of Loma Plata. And their vision and desire to build an ideal community was similar to that of Leda, which was also located in the Chaco region. On our way to Leda, we could meet Peter Paulo, who was True Father's boat captain in the Pantanal. And he shared his testimony with True Father, who taught him to listen with his heart, as he encouraged us to listen with our hearts while we're here in Paraguay. Before coming to Leda, we would hear experiences and testimonies written by Leda missionaries and the challenges they had to overcome to work to build this place. But when we arrived, we were blown away to see what they had created in this place where there was nothing. Leda was this big piece of land that True Father envisioned to become like the Garden of Eden in its pure and natural location. And for over 20 years, Japanese missionaries have developed this place to become the dream that True Parents had for it. And we could meet the senior members of Leda that have dedicated the rest of their lives to create this place. And also the younger missionaries that have stepped up to invest into Leda. We were able to experience many aspects of Leda that they were developing, including paku fishing, where we moved the net from one side of the pond to the other to catch over 100 paku fish. We got to see the sites of the pig farm and the cattle farm and the agricultural farms to see the livestock and the plants that they were growing here at Leda. And we also could experience fishing and connect the true father's love for fishing. It is inspiring to see the effort of those that have worked for decades on the vision of Leda. And as Leda is transitioning from the older generation to the next, as a younger generation, we feel it's so important to recognize and have gratitude towards the older generation that have sacrificed so much and to inherit their heart and spirit. And we could visit Maria Elena, which was a village that GPA has done projects in the past. And we could donate school supplies and spend time with the youth playing sports. And we could experience such a simple happiness that comes not from material, but from heart, where we can spend time with each other. And we continue towards San Alberto, where former Leda leader Nakata-san is pioneering missionary work with the nearby Guarani villages. One thing that makes the Guarani people so special is that they lived with this faith in God that they practiced as a community. Nakata-san was inspired by the Jesuit missionaries that came hundreds of years ago to Paraguay, where they created missions and lived together with the Guarani people and practiced their faith together. He wanted to inherit this heart and spirit of the Jesuit missionaries as he lived near these Guarani villages and wanted to share true parents' blessing with them. As GPA, we could visit two of these Guarani villages where we did service projects, painting a church and creating these flower beds around the village center, and even holding the blessing ceremony. It is beautiful to see True Parents' blessings spreading to all parts of the world, even in this village in Paraguay. In this beautiful country of Paraguay, we can come to learn the deep history of the different kinds of people that were here and the mission they strive to achieve in this land that God has prepared. And as a younger generation, we could see the necessity of us to step up and take our place in history to carry forth the hope and vision that God has. My father always speaks you know, about some life. You have father, I think, life of some. Uh, the sum lay egg. No? Then uh, they give their physical body for the food of children. Right? Uh, really, uh, this is a symbol of sacrifice of parents. No? So, father loves some life. Uh, father speaks many times. No? So, uh, we know uh, we are going to 
end of our life, no? Chapter, we really eh? uh, uh, want to serve you so that we can really give something, hmm? transmit something to you. This is the, uh, our last mission, I think. This is my determination. This is the reason why we are here. And, uh, we, we think you are going to make a uh, bright America uh, from now on. Uh, that's why we want to be a fertilizer uh, for uh, this. This is our, our, our thinking, our uh, heart uh, that uh, we learn from true parents.